You're very welcome back. Now, our next Easy guest enough. has had a whirlwind mm. of a year from hosting Ireland's Got Talent to presenting her series of Living With Celebs. Yes, she's certainly plenty on her plate. And just to make her even busier, she's set to sprinkle her own brand of fairy dust with her first children's book, Lucy Kennedy. You're very welcome this morning. Thank you, God. Ah, look at the book. Is. Look at the book. The Can you believe I'm an author? I'd Do like you even a bit know more what's respect, in the book? please. Do you know what's yes. in the book? How dare you? <laughs> You're not a published <laughs> author. Yeah, Have yeah. you read it yet? How do you, well, clearly it's a five to seven year old. She's just going to keep going, how dare you? Yeah, Don't ask her about the content. Huh? Yes, excuse no, me, the joking. content. Okay, so basically the idea behind it is three little girls. I'm obviously one of three girls. I've got two sisters. So then I had this romantic notion of writing the story about fairies because, look, I'm in the fairy zone. You're kind of in the fairy zone. I know you've got boys. Yeah. Yes. But they do love fairies. So I wrote this in mind thinking of Holly and Jess and Emmy. So on the cover... Like, the girl in the middle is Emmy, my niece. On the uh, right look. is my daughter, Holly. And then on the left is my daughter, Jess. There they are. And, and it's did about you tell them helping this? human did children. Did you tell the girls that you were writing a book about them or featuring them? Yeah, I them? did, yeah. So they were oh, Holly wants her own trailer. She's turned into a nightmare. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I wonder where she got that yeah. from. How dare you? That didn't fall far <laughs> from the tree, did it? Oh, um, the gloves are off, I see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's great. So the idea behind it is it's um, fairies helping human children to learn yeah. the basics, like gentle hands, oh. kind feet, flush, don't rush. Very you, good, You guys yeah. are boys, you know yes, exactly yeah, what yeah. I mean. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. And so there's little lessons in there's there. There's little lessons in each chapter. And then the idea is then they graduate from fairy school. So from that being a seed of an idea up here to this being in my hands, how long are you talking about, a year? Talking about a year, yeah. So, like everybody, I've been talking about writing a children's book for, I'd say, five years. So, every New Year's Day, it's like, lose weight, stop swearing, write a children's book. Yeah. Obviously, I haven't done the other two. So, I said, right, I'll write the book. <laughs> and then... But I didn't realise how much work was involved in a children's book. So, yeah. the first time I kind of sat down and typed away, I did a thousand words, my cuticles were bleeding, went into Gill Books and went, da-da! And they went, And uh... they said, where are the other 7,000 words? I was like, OK! Oh, wow. I did yeah. a lot of ands and the on the word count. And then, in fairness to them, they kind of held my hand and helped me kind of develop the idea. And, can I just say, Philip Cullen is Irish. See, the, the guy who the did illustrator. the... illustrator? Yes. Yeah. And they are beautiful yes. illustrations, aren't they? He, and he is amazing. He lives in Japan, but I wanted somebody Irish involved in the book, so... Fair play to him. He so said he yes. works from Japan. He works from Japan. But you find an Irish really? person yeah. to do it. Very yeah. important. And Very how, important. How did, you, how did you find him? How did you come across Through Gill Books. So basically, they kind of they put a, I think they put it out to tender. Is that the right word? Yeah. And then Illustrator's yeah, yeah. going to come back. And as soon as I saw his stuff, I, I like he kind of got the character. Like they look like who I had in my head. And then he was Irish, so it was like, boom, no-brainer. So the most important reaction is the one from children. Yeah. Yes, what do so you guys think? What are, what are they saying? I don't know if Jack's that impressed. Like, Jack's my son. OK. And he is... <laughs> he's nine and a half, and he's like, mum... Is he too uh, cool for us? Yeah, he is, but yeah. yeah. OK. He's calling me mum now. He's dropped mummy. OK. So he's like, yeah. mum, uh, you going to write something for the older kids? <laughs> so, Jack, you're nine. Um, but Holly... Actually, no, it was quite nice. I am playing it cool, but... When it, we got the books, I kind of gave them both a book to read in bed, and I did get very emotional because they're they're in their rooms, reading. You know, book that you've written. Yeah, yeah. It's and I am a bit of a softie. Yeah, That's and I've, I've kind of done it for them as well because I have this <clears> romantic notion that hopefully one day they'll read it to their own babies. You know. Ah, oh, that's How so How did you sweet. fit it all in? Simon, I don't know. That's the truth. Like, I don't even know if I'm wearing a bra right now. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I, I have the same problem on Sunday yeah. as well. There is a bit of that, isn't there? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Like, I just spend my life running around, like, radio... So, school. let's talk about the day job. The day okay. job is, is Nova. The day job is Nova, Which yes. Which is silly so o'clock. Breakfast radio. Yeah, it is. It's almost rude. But look, like you guys, being parents, I could run the country at 6am, 6pm. Yeah, I'm in my yeah. pyjamas, gagging for a glass of wine, wanting to watch the telly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, what time do you get up in the mornings after radio? Well, sometimes we pre-record 6 to half 6. But generally, about 20 to 6, I get up. And then I drive in with no eyebrows on <clears> and I do everything at the traffic lights. And I arrive in looking vaguely decent, usually in a tracksuit. But, yeah. but the perception is that I'm in a bikini. Yeah. And then I, we, we're on air till 10. I've been on the show with you and I can guarantee you now <laughs> she's not in the she's bikini. She's not in the bikini. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing Column, you in however. your jammies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Column, however. No, yeah, Hazy, Hazy likes the bikini. Yeah, and, but I'm so lucky because, you know, Colin Hayes is one of my best pals. See, this yeah. is what that comes across, Lucy. Yeah, it does, yeah. But it's like you guys, works, you can't though. fake chemistry, can you? You no. cannot Well, we can. Fake. We've tried for years. We've gotten away with it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you're absolutely right, Lucy. You can fake it for half an hour, maybe. Yeah. yeah you can't fake years. it every no, you can't. single morning. No, you can't. And we met under sad circumstances when Jay Ryan died. Yeah. So 2FM at the time kind of put the two of us That's together. Right. Yeah, and yeah. we just clicked. It and worked. 
Yeah, I'm in terms friends. of because uh, I know you're uh, you are an uber ultimate professional when it comes to every job. <laughs> so in terms of her. in terms of prepping the radio show, yeah, does it just happen? Yeah, or does does Colin? Because I know Colin well, see, does a my bit of prep. My boss could be watching. Yeah, so be I careful know. with your answers. I don't really yeah, I know, but doesn't matter because whatever you're doing works. So it doesn't matter. He's not going to change it. Well. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. I don't read my notes. I don't. I generally, during like a song, I go, who's coming in next? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah, and then I just kind of... But, but, look, I, but I think most of it is wing it. I'm not into scripting things, and that's what I think people love about Living With Lucy is it's just yeah. natural. Like, the more natural you are, the, you know, people okay, don't want to Okay, I have to, to tell see. you, my favourite Living With Lucy, and as your pal, I've watched them all. Yes. Right? The Obst. absolute star <laughs> episode is. was Barry Keoghan. Do you love wow. Barry Keoghan? I love Now, him. I loved him. I loved the girlfriend. I know, Saoirse. She yeah, she's don't. one of us. She's the she's power off. behind the throne there, isn't she? Yeah, you're very much so. And, you, like, they're so young. They're babies. But I, know, I would put yeah. my money on them. Defo. Lasting the test of La time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, he's on the cusp of something massive. I'd put my money on him winning an Oscar. So would I. At some point, you yeah. know what I mean? He's, uh, he's Do you going... really rate him as an well, actor? It, well, he's... His, this sounds terribly industry term, but his, his career is in the right trajectory. Yeah, yeah. He's now... In the right circles. What does that even mean? Like you can't it just means drop that in when, these when big he does the likes of, <laughs> when he does the likes of Marvel, when you're getting cast in the likes of Marvel, yes. it means that the opportunity for, opportunity for him to be cast in a potentially award-winning role in something else yes. is more likely to is happen. Than right. the rest so it's of all us. going yes. in the right direction. Basically. Yeah, but yes. he's, he, he well got to back it up with the talent as well. Now I know that you love Jamie Dornan, so you were doing this. Kind oh my God, of he's not here. Is he? tour. Is he he's here? not here as a surprise. He's just a normal man, Jamie. But I just I laughed so hard when you were doing that touristy tour around yeah, yeah, LA yeah. and they went in there's Jamie Jordan says she's like what oh my god I asked the guy he's I said, there. I said turn it turn it turn the car <laughs> yeah, ma'am I'm really sorry I was going turn it turn the car he's at, he was actually there well we think he? it was Jamie Dornan yeah, yeah. nearly like I, all, all the spit left my body I was just like, oh my god. like I love him he's my, he's my dream uh, living yeah I hear you you're not uh, on your own, I wouldn't well, say. I did, I did work with him. I could put a call in. No, you didn't. I did the first series. How long of... are we friends and you're just telling me this I now? I did the first series of The Fall. I was in every episode. With him. Oh, my God, you were? Yeah, I've Simon. touched him. I've touched Simon, him. Give me your phone. You need no. to touch base with him is what you need no. to do. Yeah, you need to, wow. yeah. <laughs> yes, look at you with all your famous friends. Pass Listen, my um, way, congratulations on the book. Here Thank it is you again. Guys. Uh, available Thank everywhere you. and anywhere. Available everywhere, yes. And I will be doing... I think like a book tour. So you next will time be you doing see me, signings so and all that. Yeah. yeah. Oh God, love Gail. Yeah. She hasn't even looked at her notes on the book tour either, have you? Not really. No. no. But no. Well I will done. be everywhere. But she'll turn up everywhere. Basically. <laughs> I will show up yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I will. Thanks but yesterday in, I was supposed to be there for one hour. Three <clears throat> hours later, Eason said they'd never had such a long book signing because ah. I talked. Yeah, when everybody. you talk to Ireland and friends, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah no, and, that's and lovely. I love it. And that's a sign of your really sweet, honest personality. No. Yeah, God, that wasn't oh very sincere. That was, that was totally like, sincere. I would consider you in my <gasps> top ten friends. Wow. And look at the stadium. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, get it's out. great to see you too. Don't forget Lucy's <laughs> debut book, The Friendship Fairies, hits shelves this weekend.